Hello everyone and welcome back to coverage for WCQ Berlin 2018. I'm back here again with Dom Galizia and Hello. we're going to be covering some more Duel Links uh, matches from our exhibition that we're running this afternoon. Indeed. Uh, who are our next two players and what are they playing? So um, Jürgen Hoyt from Germany is going to be playing Destiny Heroes and he's going... Destiny Heroes, that's a classic. And um, Tom, also from Germany, is going to be playing for Hires. For hires, so these were actually recently released in Dark Saviors. Um, unfortunately, they got a little bit overshadowed in the regular trading card game against uh, the Sky Strikers. Uh, how how do they feel? How are they in Duel Links? For hires has been really w um, well received. It's um, it's it's the fact that you can special summon quite a lot. Each monster allows you not each monster, but a lot of the monsters allow you to perform a special summon, and then in addition to that, they have additional effects. So a lot of players like the versatility and they like the way they get to, if you like, control and manipulate the opponent's board. It, they're very, very well, well received. And Tom's playing that with beatdown, which is really significant. The Seto Kaiba skill, right? Um, well, it's a, a few players can play, uh, a few of the characters. Oh, is it one of the generic ones, beatdown? Um, it, it's available across a few characters. Okay. Um, the important thing with that is that two of the higher monsters are actually enough to trigger allow it. you to trigger the ability. And it gives you plus 300 attack for each monster over level 5 that you control? Exactly. Right, so of course you just have if like a bunch of furry exactly. monsters. And if at least one of them is um, level um, five, 5 or higher, higher yeah. they, get, they get that push, um, which is very, very common. Enough to close out games. Yeah. Oh, why don't we get the players to load in right now? Um, no, that seems that seems interesting. I mean, who's favoured in the Destiny Hero versus For Hire? I, I've heard that the For Hire deck is Tier 1. I've not heard anything about Destiny Heroes. Destiny Heroes has been around for a, um, a, a little while now, and it's versatile. It has a lot of tricks with Mask Change and Chalice. Um, Summoning uh, Mask Hero chalice. Anki, right? Yeah, and Anki's really versatile as well because you it allows you to... Chalice to trick, right? Yes. And it allows you to attack directly. So, uh, just so for the chalice trick, so I, I get my Anki, I attack my Destiny Hero, I mass change into Anki, he destroys a monster, I get another mass change, right? Correct. And then you then activate mass change. Yep. You then use Anki's ability to attack directly, and um, then use chalice to make that attack go up. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've just got the match loaded in, and they're beginning. We're starting with Destiny for all. I yeah, remember when that was the uh, the hot topic of every Boost Astro Phoenix Duelist pack. Yeah. Everyone was chasing Destiny Hero, Malicious, and Destiny Draw. They had two amazing Ultra Rares in that set. And he, he's, you know, this is a really good opening for Tom, uh, for um, Eugen. He's going to be playing this Drill Dark Down, special summoning from his hand. Celestia. Yeah, really good effect in, in the graveyard. So he's got two copies of Treacherous Trap Hole. We traditionally see players only playing one trap card if they're going to play uh, treacherous trap hole. Yeah, so indeed. So why why go with multiple copies if you can't resolve I them? Think, I think he wants to um, draw into them, and also a lot of people are playing cosmic cyclone, which actually banishes. Right, they're not playing so standard destruction. Exactly. So actually, if one of those were to get cycloned, for example, it wouldn't be in the graveyard, which means the other one is still live. Right. So he's actually just gonna. So the treacherous trap holes are to make the for hire match more manageable. I think so. I think that and the he treacherous only is a to very versatile trap right now. So and we're we not going to see a <laughs> problem where he's going to be stuck with a card that he can't use with a limited number of spell and trap zones. Exactly. And what we're going to see now is Donpa. Donpa is really good. It, it is a one of those monsters that allows you to special summon. So he's brought it down. He's activating its ability um, effect. Sorry, and the. Um, the next for high monster is about to come down. Obviously, it so looks like with that treacherous, he's in a good position. So they sh they show up with all of their friends, essentially. Yes. They just go, hey, what's going on? We've got a party. Yeah, come check this out. And then they, they summon another one, which then summons another one, which then triggers each of them. Exactly. So they're really resourceful. They really they really work well together. They seem really rowdy. It's like you invite one of them, and then three of them show up. And you're like, this isn't this. You got you didn't even have a plus one. Yes. More importantly, here the effect of Wiz. Sage for hire is coming down. Ah, this is the uh, the for hire monster that allows you to gain life points. Exactly, and also it has a negation effect, right? Correct. So once per turn, it can negate a um, um, a spell or trap card activation by discarding the for, my for hire monster from your hand. But also the life point gain is so good. Like if you if you are in a position where you have two addition uh, two different um, for hire monsters on the on the on your field before you special summon um, Wiz. 
you just get a thousand life points, which in Duel Links oh. is a really big deal. So o Oigen read him like a book, and he gets uh, he gets to use the two treacherous trap holes in the same chain since yep. there's none in the graveyard. Exactly. So he anticipates the, the negation, and then he has the extra trap uh, treacherous trap hole to then actually clear up. Exactly. So based on how many resources for hire invest into these big pushes, um, don't forget. Eugen, Eugen's in a really good position here. Celestia, he has Celestia right? in the graveyard. He's going to draw two more cards next turn. He's going to summon that. That's 3,200. Right there. Yep. Uh, is there any trap cards uh, Eugen would, uh, should expect to be playing against against Prahar? Yes. He, he can probably anticipate that Treacherous is also in that deck. But, but... Destiny heroes have that marsh change. So right now, if he goes, if he draws into that and the treacherous comes down on um, Tom's side, he's going to activate that marsh change and punch through with damage. Uh, it's cosmic cyclone. That's not what you want to see. If you use it here, you just get the opponent change to their treacherous trap hole. Exactly. Right? So it it could be that he sets both cards. We'll see. We'll see what type of play he wants to make. But he has a lot of damage on board. So yes. Yeah, it's uh, 3,200 there. He's going to set both. I'm pretty sure he's going to set both. That's what I would do. And he's going to punch through with that 3-2 damage. Yeah, you're going to... Some of the hires do play, f do, do play the Wall of Disruption, so he could anticipate that. But I would probably anticipate something else. Yeah, Treasure Trap Hole, here it is. And now that gives away that there's no other trap cards in uh, the For Hire deck that should be worried about. Indeed. That was a good... Good, good play from Tom. And there go those monsters. He's going to end his turn, and and uh, Tom's going to draw a card, and hopefully it's a for hire. Uh, it is a for hire monster. Uh, I can't catch which one it is. It's um, Recon, or is it Donpa? It's one of the smaller, um, lower level monsters, which allows the special summon. It's. It's Donpa, so it's the one that destroys face up if it activates its effect. Here's a question. Would you have even bothered using um, your Cosmic Cyclone if you've already seen the Treacherous Trap on the graveyard? Yes. Oh, because he wants to get the, field, the uh, skill activation, right? It's More importantly, it's about controlling your opponent's field and taking away problems. So, oh, we're just seeing him toggle here. <laughs> just changing a setting in the middle of the match, just burning a bit of his time. And... He's uh, s setting up his response uh, window, essentially, because uh, one of the one of the things with dueling's uh, being an increased speed is if you can't make an action or you can make an action, it will ask you, do, do you want to respond? Exactly. Uh, and so he he's now set it up so he can sort of bluff actions or hide actions. He can just basically turn it off so it looks like, from a digital perspective, oh, he has no responses so he can't play. Indeed. He wants to hide that information from his He opponent. does. We do this verbally in the regular game, but uh, digitally it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, the game controls all of that for you. It, it maintains the game state. And in the TCG, we have additional uh, people on hand for that. Ah, do, uh, Donpa. Yep. He's trying to bring bring down that additional for hire. For Ben Chalice, it's a great shutdown. Yep. It's a really good card against uh, for hires. So again... That's just controlling the board. He he knows that he can now just draw to beat that up for free and take it away. Oh, hold on! He can run away with the game here, right? Yep. He's got drill the dark. drill dark, and then he's got another destiny hero. Yep. So the drill dark's going to let him bring down the uh, decider from his hand. Decider has two effects, right? I correct. can never remember. It's so once when it's normal summon, you get a card back, and then only once per duel. Once per duel. And the second uh, the second one is that if it's in your graveyard and you would take um, um, damage. Um, you can return it to your hand to negate the damage. Right, okay. But there it goes. That's the match. And two oh. attacks later, and the Fahir deck goes down. Indeed. Uh, Huygen um, showing you why he was a European champion not all that long ago. Indeed. Attention Very well played. He, he managed to, again, control that um, board, control that field by taking away the monster effects. and. Do you think, yeah. Where do you think the turning point for that game was? It looked like when he had the double treacherous trap hole set for up. Sure. Uh, that was kind of like when the for hire deck had already committed like so many resources, yeah. and then it was just a case of Destiny Hero just had to uh, had the Celestia in the graveyard. It was ready to refuel. It was like, okay, I've cleared, I've cleared your your immediate push, and he I'm ready just, to keep going. He could just manage, and you know, I really wanted to drop the for for 
sure. Um, well, for pun sure there. puns. But it was that. It was exactly that moment. He yeah. took away the whiz, which was once per turn. He yeah. was, he could take away a card from his opponent. You've been playing for hires online, and you actually yeah. play it with Pegasus Mind Scan, right? Because oh, you can gain the additional life points from uh, Wiz, which then means that you're exactly. staying above the range to make. Exactly, and you know, I know when when I'm playing against people that I'd like to take away a certain card. And yeah, like you in that instance, there were two cards set. Recon is the is the for hire monster we didn't see, but Recon allows you to destroy face down cards. That's including monsters. Yeah. Um, and with the mind scan a skill that Pegasus has, it's really nice to be able to see what you're playing. He would definitely play for hires if he was playing a deck. He definitely if, would. If, if it wasn't tunes, he's like, you have to play something else. Like, and he said wind ups were off the table. So I'd be like, yeah, these, these guys would be pretty good. Yep. And they're really versatile. That seems pretty cool with uh, mind scan. But that's uh, going to wrap it up for our uh, next exhibition match. Please stay with us for more coverage of the WCQ. And we hope you're having fun. And see you, see soon. you soon.